Jason Weindro here with Golden Dental Marketing, and today I am going to walk you through the unboxing of iPhone 11 Pro Max and glass that goes over it. This is the Invisiglass by Belkin and the Lumen Series case for the phone and then the um, wireless charging pad. So we're gonna go through all these really quick here and uh, do some unboxing. All right, so the phone comes in a really nice box. I have the uh, 256 gig gig phone and that, uh, that should be sufficient for my use. Real nice box, it's got a big mark on it. You know, it's probably in the shipping or something got moved around. And they've got a nice tab on the back, which you can just peel this off. And I, I did get a phone with a, an AT8, AT&T carrier set up. It's one of my primary carriers that I use. All right, so here's the phone. And as you can see, I did get the green color. And this, this is a um, matte green that is um, really nice looking. It's really, really nice. You see that? Isn't that really nice? It's a matte green. And um, you can see it's got the triple cameras. And all of this was just completely ready to go. You saw that you just basically open it up and it's ready. I mean, you, you take it out. Now inside the box, we have our typical charging port and we have wired earbuds that come with it and then the charging cable. So all of that's included. So that's that's really nice setup right there. Real, real basic. And um, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna fire this up here. I'm actually gonna leave the cover on it just because I'm gonna be putting the um, protector on here and I don't want, I don't want to, um, you can see the reflection. That is very reflective. <laughs> you can see right up to the ceiling. Okay, so I'm just booting up here. And I'm not putting in my chip right away because I just gonna get myself acquainted with the phone before I transfer the chip over. It's gonna be a minute here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lift this boot up and let's jump straight into the, um, let's jump into the uh, Lumen Series case. Okay, so this is a case that was recommended when I bought this because I didn't want something really, really bulky, but I also wanted something that was, and I know that they put this specific phone through some very unique testing um, I saw some of the demonstration that Apple did and it was pretty aggressive what they were subjecting the phone to in terms of water, liquid, dropping it, smashing it on things, basically trying to break it. And, um, but still, you know, I'm, I came into this industry in the old generation when, you know, the slightest moisture got on the phone and it stops working. So I kind of always still think with that a little bit and even hesitant to take these types of phones underwater. It just doesn't ever feel right. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pop this back out again, and I'm going to go ahead and just put this right in the case, since it's, uh, I'm actually just going to clean it off real quick, just there's a couple smudge marks, but I'm going to drop it right in before I get anything else on it, just to get it fully protected, and I'm going to tell you this is a really really nice fit it I mean it's just snugs right in and this is expected with OtterBox they do a really good job with um, their cases I've, I've never owned an OtterBox that I wasn't happy with so anyway it fits fits really nice and this this padding on the outside I mean this is surprisingly for how small um, how thin the case seemingly is compared to the phone it really seems like a lot of protection so I'm really happy about that I've never owned this specific case before um, so very nice, very nice, very happy about that. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is the, I'm gonna go ahead and do the charger right now. We'll keep that up here. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Um, 
find the best way to open this. I always try to, when I open these boxes, I always try to open it with the factory opening so that if I ever need to return it or something, or if I wanted to sell it in the future, it's not totally destroyed. All right, so the Mophie, obviously Mophie loves us. That's nice, that's cute, right? Um, very nice packaging, very nice. I always feel, to me, I'm a, I'm a big recycling person. I like to recycle a lot of cardboard and things at the house. I'm always chopping up all the cardboard and cans and all that, putting them away. Um, so every time I see this packaging, it's always so nice, but I'm just like, I wish we didn't have to have such massive amounts of packaging and ink and all the stuff that goes into it. But I guess it's just the uh, market we live in. Okay, so this just this is a really simple setup here with the charger. Uh, basically, you just pull these tabs off. And that's the other concern I had. I had some problems with a base charger before like this in the case because the phone, is, uh, a different phone, a different system that I was testing on at one point and had a little bit of trouble with the connectivity. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually plug this in and um, see if we just get a straight up charge just with the case on. There's no connectivity problems or anything. That would be wonderful. This was somewhat of an adventurous purchase for me because, you know, it's almost September and I'm buying a new phone and, you know, Apple is expected to come out with, um, you know, some new phones. So there you go. So it, there's no problem whatsoever in the connectivity here. Actually, it's, it's, um, I mean, it just bites right on, goes straight to charging. Can't ask for more than that. It's great. This thing that's nice about these is, you know, obviously regular chargers, we've all experienced them buying at like two or three a month when you charge your phone a lot. Dust, all the things that happen between the connectors and the charger that can create all kinds of delays and problems that, um, that we run into. So these are just wonderful to have and I'm probably gonna end up getting like one for the office and one for the home so that I've got multiple charging sources. And the last thing here, and I'm not gonna do a video of uh, putting this on. I'm just gonna open it up so I can show you. But this was, again, recommended by Apple. And I generally like to buy the products that are recommended. They are sometimes more expensive, but but generally speaking, they've been really tested. And um, they, for that reason alone, for me, it makes the most sense um, to buy them because I'd rather even pay a little bit more and not have the trouble, you know, of the case and obviously if something ever did happen it's like well i bought you know i bought the product from apple it was recommended by apple everything's clear so if something did happen you're more likely also to get get it fixed or get a replacement if something ever happens so okay anyway the instructions are like your typical screen protector you know um clean off the surface drop what's really nice is this has a case that you drop on and i was reading about that too it's really um makes it really a snap to get it on perfectly and then you, um, you know, you pull it up like normal, and then pull the peel off, and you're basically done. So that's the, uh, that's the simplicity of it. But anyway, it's a nice case. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do that in a video. I just wanted to do the unboxing with you, and um, I may, I may uh, boot up the phone again when, um, when I have it all set up, and uh, we'll. Uh, I might do a few demonstrations with you. I'm going to do, I'm going to do some videos with the, um, the phone, the camera and video and some of the capabilities that this has. It's really, really neat. So um, look forward to some of those. But anyway, all right, well, thank you for watching. That's the uh, unboxing of the iPhone 11 Pro Max.